Public relations is an important marketing communications tool, but sometimes it goes a little bit unrecognized, especially for us younger marketers who are just starting to learn about this particular process. It's kind of similar to advertising because it does communicate to us who a brand is, what it stands for, and it helps a brand to connect with customers. But unlike advertising, you know, you're always certain when you see an ad, you know that an ad has been delivered, you know what that communication piece is meant to do. It's meant to ultimately sell you something or to influence your heart and your mind. Public relations is a little uh, less obvious though. And for that reason, sometimes it's hard for us to distinguish it when we see it in action. So what do I mean by public relations? You know, sometimes definitions can be as easy as we want them to be. Public relations is basically building and maintaining positive relationships with key publics. And what do I mean by key publics? Well, key publics are those stakeholder groups or individuals. Really, it's anyone or anything that can be impacted by or that can impact our company. So a whole variety of both internal and external stakeholders emerge. People like our customers, people like our employees, people like the media, uh, the government and regulators, banks, financial institutions, community groups, environmental groups. The list can just be endless and it really depends upon what category your product or your service is operating in and who comes into contact with or who has power over your business. So what do public relations people do? Because this is a really vibrant field and is a very necessary area for marketers. So we need to have specialists. Well, first and foremost, we start with, we always going to start PR with identifying the internal and external stakeholders, right? So all those people we just mentioned who can possibly impact our business and who can be in, impacted by us. We also need to constantly be assessing our corporate reputation. We need to know what people think and feel about us. Now, this has become a lot easier when we look at social media because we kind of have our finger on the pulse of what people are thinking based on the kinds of things they tweet, the kind of things they like on Facebook, and the comments and the sharing and those kinds of activities. We also need to keep an eye on our corporate behaviors, our social responsibility, and our ethics. Are we doing the right thing? Are we in line? Are we following? following laws and also are we just following the disclosure test meaning you know if people knew how we were operating our business if they could see behind the scenes you know would they still like us um, and that's always a really good way for us to recognize whether we're being ethical or not and ultimately you know PR is a lot about both producing positive images and then also guarding against negative images that might occur but when we look at what PR people really do in terms of the actual day-to-day -day activities of what they're up to, they write and write and write. So there's a lot of writing when it comes to public relations. And we see that in some of the key PR tools, news releases, a real old school press release, um, any kind of announcement of something special that's going on with our brand, a new product, maybe we won an award, um, anything that we can do to garner some publicity. Typically you write a news release and then you send it along to different news organizations. It could be magazines, it could be newspapers, it could be an online blog. Um, we can now also use social media to broadcast our news releases through through uh, Facebook, through Twitter, um, through Pinterest, through whichever social media tool we tend to operate on. We also have video news releases and you know, I say social media and social media has really made it easy for these VNRs to become uh, a much larger part of marketing communication strategy because now we can utilize our YouTube channel, we can um, optimize our website to include video and we can really reach out directly to audiences and to release our news in a video form that's more engaging, it's more um, active, it's more dynamic. And finally, we also have press conferences, and we've all seen these, right? Assembling of press, uh, press people. Um, these can be both done uh, on site in a physical atmosphere. They also can be done online. They can be done via conference call. So there's a variety of ways, but one thing that's in common in all of these PR tools, news releases, VNRs, and press conferences, it's all about creating a message and then trying to get the media, you know, mass media, to broadcast that out to the end consumer, right? So we're looking for, we often hear the word publicity when we talk about PR. So 
we have two kind of main types of um, activities that public relations people are responsible for. We have image destroying activities. Now, these are things that businesses do. I'm not going to say we plan for them, but these are things that kind of happen by accident, right? They're discrimination, harassment, pollution, misleading, deceptive, or offensive co communications. Companies and brands make mistakes, and these are going to destroy our image. So we need some reactive PR to kind of put out a better image. On the other hand, kind of what's really more the day-to-day -day activities of public relations people are image building activities, um, empowering employees, getting them involved, doing good works through charities and local events, um, being environmentally friendly, and really reaching out to communities and uh, being active with our neighbors. Those kinds of image building activities are more proactive public relations. So you can see we have these two forms of public relations, reactive and proactive. We're going to explore these uh, concepts in two different lectures. So check back for those two more specific lectures uh, on reactive and proactive public relations.